Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Today's topic is, how can I make people respect me? Now, this is the million dollar question, right? Because you want people to come into your life that treat you well, that they don't walk all over you, they don't have all these expectations for from you. But how can you do that? Well, first of all, you have to respect yourself. If you don't have some expectations and some boundaries in your own life people will walk all over you and take advantage of you because you're too nice to say anything learning how to respect yourself can be really tough because if you're a shyer person or you're more introverted you don't want to make waves you don't want to be that person that says things to get attention you just kind of want to go through your life and have everything flow nicely unfortunately it doesn't work that way there's people out there that will take advantage of somebody who's really nice and really accommodating. We see it all the time in certain relationships. We see it in the workforce. People are nice and they do more than they really have to in their job. Somebody finds out that you're that kind of person. They give you more to do and you're not going to say anything because that's who you are. You're nice. You're, you're helpful. The trouble with that is over time it becomes very exhausting when you're always the nice person in everything you do in your life. If you're asking the question, how can I get more respect? Then you need to learn how to respect yourself. And by doing that, you say no once in a while, or I'm busy, I'm sorry, I can't help you. You find a way to make it work for you that's not super abrasive, and you help people when you want to help them but you don't feel obligated all the time. I do find that people who ask this question about how to get respect from others, they don't understand 100% when they're in negative friendships or negative scenarios. People think that just because you're in long-term friendships, relationships, work environments, that you have to put up with everything that comes your way. You don't. You change, we all change, we evolve. If you want to have a healthy relationship where it's reciprocated and it's even and, and it's give and take on both parts, you have to respect yourself enough to put yourself there. It's not all about making their life great. It's about making your life great too. So if you're finding that all your friendships, your relationships, even your family situation and work environment, you're all with similar people that kind of drain you and have expectations of you, that's the first thing you need to change up if you want to be respected. You'll start to attract more of those people towards you and eventually those other ones that have been causing drama and frustration into your life for so long, because you allowed it, you won't be attracting those people anymore. So life will be so much easier. It'll be just a natural thing for you to, people will respect you because you respect yourself. You're not, you're not a doormat. You're not somebody's you know, pin cushion and, and they can do whatever they want all the time with you. You've got a say, you've got respect and boundaries for yourself. And people will see that, they will take notice of that, and they will know that that's expected of them if they're going to be in your life. And that's the important part. So in closing, wouldn't it be nice to be able to do things your way and just come and go as you please, feel good about your decisions, your choices, not have somebody dictate to you what they want from you, what they expect of you. That's when you get to the point of respecting yourself and having others respect you. You have a voice. And people like that about another person. Nobody really wants to walk all over you. And in a relationship, it doesn't work out for a long term anyway because people get bored. So if you want to have a healthy relationship, a healthy work environment, respect yourself enough to speak up when you don't like something, when something's too much, or if you just don't want to do something. You can be nice, you can be gentle in your delivery, but just do it and you'll find your life is so much smoother. Thanks everyone for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please keep your question coming. Thanks for people who wrote in with these questions. I appreciate it and please subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.